assalamu alaikum students today myself hamza khan want to share my presentation on the topic sir sayed ahmed khan now before moving on further please like share and subscribe as it is a my beloved teach bhasha sir teacher channel i want to start with an urdu couplet khalis hai teri koshishon pe bhi aaj bhi sayed jo chirag tune jalaye the khurshid ho gaye now i want to present my topic on a very renowned personality sir sayed ahmed khan the content that i want to discuss on this presentation are the untold story of sir sayed ahmed khan sir sayed's vision sir sayed's dream sir sayed's last message present amu some places to visit in amu and references now moving on the first slide is the untold story of sir sayed ahmed khan the revolt of 1857 was a turning point in the life of sir sayed he found his uncle dead and cousin also and his aunt died of thirst before his eyes he succeeded in rescuing his mother only for her to die later because of privations she had experienced in the hands of british army all of it due to the planned revenge on delhi by the british forces after the revolt of 1857 by denoting which he wrote a book uh, on uh, highlighting the issues of what are the causes of the revolt of 1857 Now moving on the next slide I want to discuss about the Sir Sayed's vision. Sir Sayed's vision was centered around the education and modernization for the Muslim community in India. He stressed very much on the importance of scientific education and practical training and encouraged the study of English. Sir Sayed also emphasized the need for social and religious reform within the Muslim community. He embraced a more rational and enlightened approach to Islam. he called for an end to religious extremism sectarianism and superstition sir sayed was highly against the unorthodox practices that were practiced at that time now moving on the next slide i want to discuss the sir sayed's dream regarding the institution in which he highlighted the guidelines which was uh, written in 1872 and reprinted in aligarh institute gazette on 5 april 1911 Sir Sayed started by saying I may appear to be dreaming and talking like Sheikh Chilli but we aim to turn this AMO college into a university similar to that of Oxford or Cambridge like the churches of Oxford and Cambridge there will be mosque attached to each college the college will have dispensary with a doctor and a compounder beside besides a Yunani hakim it will be mandatory for boys and resident to join the congregational prayers namaz at all five times they will serve the they will either be serve foods on the table less, just like european style or on chokis in the manner of arabs smoking of cigarettes or hookahs or chewing of tobacco it will be strictly prohibited on the grounds of university no corporal punishment or any such punishment as is likely to injure a student self respect will be permissible it will be strictly enforced that shia and sunni boys shall not discuss their religious differences in the college or in the boarding house now on the next slide i want to discuss about the last message that the sir sayed ahmed khan left with the future generations who will become the part of the amu he started by saying oh my dear children you have reached a particular stage and remember one thing that when i undertook the task there was criticism all around against me abuses were hurled upon me life had become so difficult for me that i aged before my age i lost my hair my eyesight but not my vision my vision never dimmed my determination never failed i built this institution for you and i am sure you will carry the light of this institution far and wide till the darkness disappears from all around now i want to discuss about some of the key factors of present amu the motto of present amu is allam al insana ma lam yalam which in english translates into taught man what he didn't know the campus area of the present amu is for 467.6 hectares of land the courses are offered in amu are 300 plus uh, in amu there are more than 37327 students studying and more than 1686 teachers and some 5610 non teaching staffs on its payrolls the university has opened three new centers of study outside aligarh at murshidabad west bengal state at mallapuram Kerala State and at Kishanganj Bihar State, the university maintains one primary, 
seven high schools including one for visually challenged students and two senior secondary schools for boys and girls. The university also offers in Indian, Oriental and Western language courses. The medium of instruction in the university is primarily English. Now we have reached the uh, last part of this slide in which I want to uh, mention some of the important places that you can visit when you uh, visit AMU. The first is Sir Sayyid House. The Sir Sayyid House was originally was a military mess. In 1876, it was bought by Sayyid Mahmud Khan for the residence of his father Sir Sayyid Ahmed Khan. It was fully renovate, renovated in 1970 and then again it was renovated in 1974 and called Sir Sayyid Academy. The next place that I want to show is Maulana Azad Library. Maulana Azad Library was established in 1877 as Lytton Library, later on changed to Maulana Azad on 1960. It is considered to be the largest university library in Asia. It has 7 story building, 4.7 acres of lawns and gardens. The next place that I want to show is Victoria Gate. Victoria Gate was completed in 1894. It was previously called Sardar Darwaza but renamed as Victoria Gate on 25th July 1914. The last place that I want to mention before concluding my presentation is Centenary Gate which was recently, con uh, which was recently con uh, constructed and was inaugurated on 17 October 2020 by the Chancellor Sayyidna Mufaddal Saifuddin on the presence of our beloved Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Thank you. Now I want to conclude my presentation. These are my references. Thank you and have a nice day.